Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. It would help me out with my channel. Now, this is another OpenTX video prompted by a subscriber who wanted to know how to turn the trim tabs, the T5 and T6 on your uh, TX16S into a switch, a three position switch. So let, I'm gonna first show you within Companion and then we'll switch over to the radio itself because it looks slightly different when you do it, the um, programming on the radio. So let's switch over to the computer. Now, let me open up the three position switch. Okay, first thing we're gonna take a look at is flight modes. Now in the flight mode, we ne need to set up a global variable. So let's take a look. now. I've named the global variable SW1. The value needs to be minus 200 and the minimum needs to be minus 200 and the maximum needs to be zero for this to work. Now, as you can see here, the trim is disabled. Now you have two options in there, own trim or disabled. We need to disable this so that you won't get all the trim noises when the trim is centered and you're pushing the button, there won't be any bleeping. We're going to use the global variable so that we can change the value of the switch so we get the different positions. So that's why we need the global variable. So let's move on to the special functions. In the special functions, we are going to set up special function one, trim down, and we're gonna choose the action is gonna be adjust global variable SWI. We're gonna choose the parameter increment, and we need to put in minus 100 here. Now I'm gonna explain this in a moment. So then on special function two, we're gonna put trim five up. Again, adjust global variable SWI, increment and plus 100. Now to work out the figure that you need to put in your special function, there's a calculation we need to do. So for a three position switch, you will take the number of positions you want, which is three, and then you take minus one from that. That gives you two. So therefore you take the 200, which is your range, divided by two gives you 100. Now, if you wanted to do a six position switch, what you would do is you would take the six and then minus one, which gives you five. And then you divide the 200 by five, which gives you 40. So that would be the figures, the, the plus and minus figure that you put into your special function. So we need to uh, turn the function on. So we're gonna click the on buttons there. Now we're gonna move to the mixes. Now in the mixes, it's quite simple. We are just going to go set up a mix on a channel so that you can um, set, send this to your receiver. So we're gonna put the source max. The weight will be 100 and the offset is going to be the global variable that we set up, global variable SW1. And then we have to do nothing else in here. That's all good to go. So if we simulate this now, Hit the model key, the model key again. If we go to our trim, if we go up, you can see the switch has gone into the middle position. If we click again, it will go to the full throw of your servo. We click again, down. It will go back to the middle and then click the down trim. And there we go. We have now come pulled the servo the full opposite position. Now let's take a look at the six position switch settings. Uh, switch back to our OpenTX companion. I've already opened up the six position switch. So we're gonna just go to the special functions. And you can see here, all we needed to do was put the figure in that we calculated and that was minus 40. So now if I demonstrate this, simulate it and go to there. Now you'll see if we hit our up switch, you can see we are slowly moving through the six positions. If you look at the bottom of the screen and then we can come back down. And there we go. Now what I did do is on this, I set up a warning because it depends on what you're using this for, that when you turn the radio, you're not gonna get a switch warning for that switch. So um, I just wanted to add to this, you don't need, necessarily need to do this, but I set up a warning that it would give you if you turned your radio on and the switch wasn't in the full back position. So let's just take a look at that. So what I did, I set up a logical switch and you can see the logical switch one is A equals X 
and I'm picking channel five because that's where I put the mix for this six position switch. You can see I've given a value of minus 100. So that's when the switch is fully, the servo would be fully back. So, and then we go on to the second line, which is and, and then we go not logical switch, LO1. The armed switch in the back position, position. So this will only give the warning when you're not armed. If you're armed, it's not going to you keep. If it was armed in the armed position, when you keep flicking the switch, you're going to keep hearing the warning. So you don't want that. And then a delay. Now I've put the 0.5 delay on there, 0.5 of a second delay, so that when you turn the radio on, it doesn't keep um, 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 being played. So let me go to the uh, special function, and you can see I've said pick up logical switch LO2, play track, and I made a track up called T5A, and if I Trim T5 activated. There we go. So it will tell you it's activated. So if you do this, then when you turn your radio, if your position is not at the bottom, in other words, at minus 100, the radio would warn you. Now, if it was, uh, it was just, I've done that just in case you, you're using that switch for something important uh, to make sure that, I, I mean, I definitely wouldn't use a trim of the T T5 and T6 as a, uh, for arming, maybe secondary arming, but not uh, your main arming switch. I would use a proper switch. Um, so there we go. That's the six position switch explained. Now let's take a look at the three position trim switch on the radio. Now we are going to push model. So let's go to our first thing. That will be the flight modes. And you can see here in the flight modes, we have disabled. Now all you need to do is a go across, it'll say trim five, push enter and you can select. You can, so you will go from colon zero just to two dashes. And uh, that's everything you need to do in there. Now let's go on to the global variables. And we're on global variable one, let's just edit it. And you can see here, we've called it, I've, I've called the global variable SWI, and then we've put the minimum in at minus 200, the maximum at zero, and then the global variable is minus 200. Okay, let's go to the special functions. Special functions, you can see there, we've got special function one, it's trim switch down, we select adjust, and GV1, and in here, We've got to make sure it says minus and equals 100. And then we check the box to activate it. Now we go back, we go to the second one. You can see we've got the switch up and it's um, adjust to global variable one. And in this case, it must be plus equals 1000. Now let's go to the mixes, back to our mixes and channel five, which I've set the mix up on. So here we've got the source max, our weight is 100%, our offset is the global variable one, and that should be everything. So if we now we turn out of here, hit the model key, we should be able to test the switch. So at the moment, the switch is in the bottom, bottom position, middle position, top position, and then back down again, and you can see that is working. And there we go. I do hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if there's something I can specifically try and help you with, uh, please leave it, uh, the request in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.